So a way to uh, win the three on three, win it four on four. <laughs> well, f- let's talk about the game, Mike. What a what a third period for the kids. You know, they uh, they battled their uh, their butts off there and they responded in the third period. And uh, you know, when you have a, a huge change of players and a young influx of young kids, it took some time to find the game a little bit. But uh, San Antonio's got a good hot club there, and uh, they're wide open. And uh, I thought we did a good job of you know battling back, getting it back to three three, and then taking the lead. And, you know, they got a but they got a couple bounces, but uh, it was an exciting game for their home opener. With uh, Shore was telling us how he was in the box during the dry scrape. How did you guys communicate with him? What was the what kind of message did you try and get across to him um, going into overtime? Well, we just we were more focused about the kill. We just said if it's four and four, you're jumping out, and stay on, and kind of go from there. And we we just kind of finished the kill. And I thought John's did a great job with a, a long flip pass, and we got a bounce on it, and he went in and did a you know the old Forsberg move. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, great for the kids. Good energy in the room right now. It's uh, it'll make a for a great week of practice. We have a team builder on Tuesday, so you know it, it provides a, a positive uh, setting for the week coming up here. We got a hard week going in Chicago and Rockford back to back, and just goes to show you there's no easy games in the league, and uh, you have to battle for every point you get. And we battle for the extra point tonight. Obvious choice there to go with two defensemen and one forward, kind of with a like a five on three type set uh, as you were going in overtime. Well, that was a kill. It was a four-on-three kill, so you'll go with the two defensemen, and uh, they did a great job of uh, killing it off, and they didn't have many looks there. They got a little bit of a look there late on it, but uh, when we got it to four-on-four, I thought our guys did a good job of you know, trying to get off the ice, but uh, again, we got a good break. Uh, simple play by just putting the puck in the neutral zone and you know, put a defenseman in a tough spot and shores you with the speed, you know, push down on it and uh, turn it into the game-winning goal. Lindell looked pretty good tonight. Yeah, you know what, I, I thought there were some nerves with a lot of the kids early on. I thought Lindy had nerves probably the first 10 minutes, but uh, I thought he really settled in the game. He had some great shot blocks tonight. Uh, made a great pass to Brandon Ramford on the breakaway. So uh, I, re- I thought he really settled into uh, what you're going to see from Lindell. After uh, Roddick Fox had missed most of the year last year with the shoulder injury, I mean, good to see him get kind of get it started here with two goals. Well, you know what? I think he really struggled to score early on in the season last year, and you know he's got the potential to put some uh, points up on the board. But what I liked about Roddick's game, it was just a well-rounded, hard-working game. Like uh, he got the hardest-working forward award after the game by we give that out to so the players, give it out. But uh, I really thought that uh, you saw a workhorse in his game, Pelling Kellen and uh, five-on-five play. So. He got rewarded with a couple big goals and obviously logged a lot of ice time for us. But it's good to see him get back into it. And uh, his his uh, uh, confidence curve has really taken off through Dallas training camp. And, you know, he's played really well. He's just getting better and better. And I'm sure this is going to help springboard him into the player that Dallas knows that he can be. We talked with the kids, but I think when you look in the third period in overtime, Travis Moore, and I don't think he lost a faceoff there near the end of the game, just kind of, and, and this is his first game as the captain in a real game, what type of leadership, things like that, obviously lead by example, things like that from him? Well, it's good for us as a coaching staff. You know, uh, he's going to help sell the message that we're trying to instill in this group. And obviously, uh, you know, having that leadership in a room, he's just another voice for us. And, you know, he's going to, uh, I, th- I heard him talking to the guys after the first period before I came in there. And, you know what, you don't have to reinforce the message that he's sending. So he's just reinforcing the message that we want to send. So for us, it, it's good to have him in there. And obviously, uh, you know, they're going to follow their leader. And uh, when he puts on a performance like that, he plays hard every shift and practices hard. That's the kind of development, the kind of experience we want for these young kids in the group. Okay, guys. Have a great night.